Kamikaze pilot Koichi Shikishima lands his Mitsubishi A6M0 at the Japanese base on Odo Island for repairs in 1945, close to the conclusion of World War II. Lead mechanic Sosaku Tachibana surmises that Shikishima is trying to escape his job by pretending to have mechanical problems. That evening the garrison is attacked by Godzilla, a massive, dinosaur-like beast. Shikishima is ordered by Tachibana to shoot the monster from his plane, but he panics, misses, and is rendered unconscious. The next morning, he discovers Tachibana is the lone survivor and that she is enraged with him for not acting sooner. When Shikishima gets home, he discovers that his parents perished in the Tokyo bombing. Overwhelmed by remorse for having survived, he starts lending assistance to Noriko Oishi, a lady whose parents perished in the explosion, and Akiko, a newborn that Noriko saved. He is employed on a minesweeper that is in charge of clearing out World War II era naval mines. In the meantime, the U.S. nuclear tests at Bikini Atoll have altered and strengthened Godzilla, causing it to sink the USS Redfish and damage numerous other ships that are sailing towards Japan. With the exception of a few retired Imperial Japanese Navy IJN, vessels authorized by General Douglas MacArthur, the United States provides no assistance because to tensions with the Soviet Union. Fearing that this would spread hysteria, the Japanese government keeps the public in the dark about the threat. To stop Godzilla from approaching Japan, Shikishima and his minesweeper crew must go to the Ogasawara Islands in May 1947. They put a mine in Godzilla's mouth and set it off, seriously damaging it, but Godzilla recovers fast. Godzilla then assaults the heavy cruiser Takao, but when the monster unleashes its heat ray, the ship is destroyed. When he gets back to Tokyo, Shikishima tells Noriko everything about his experiences with Godzilla. A few days later, Noriko's workplace in Ginza is attacked by Godzilla after it lands in Japan. She barely makes it out of the first attack and meets up with Shikishima again. Godzilla, enraged by tank fire, uses its heat beam to destroy most of the district, killing tens of thousands of people. Shikishima is pushed to safety by Noriko, who is thought to have been killed in the explosion. Shaken by the defeat, Shikishima swears retaliation. One of the Minesweeper's crew members, retired naval engineer Kenji Noda, grows impatient with the government's passivity. He comes up with a plan to kill Godzilla that involves enticing it to Sagami Bay, surrounding it with Freon tanks, and then rupturing them to sink the monster and allow the crushing force of the sea to do the rest. In the event that the strategy fails, Godzilla will be forced back up by balloons, which will decompress explosively and kill it. Noda has enlisted naval veterans to crew disarmed IJN destroyers in order to carry out his plan. For the purpose of fixing a malfunctioning Kyushu J-7W Shinden fighter, Shikishima enlists Tachibana. By flying into Godzilla's mouth and setting off explosives on board, he intends to kill the monster in a suicide attempt. Before Godzilla reappears, he puts Akiko in the capable hands of his neighbor Sumiko. While Godzilla is being lured by Shikishima to the trap laid by two destroyers, Sumiko gets a telegram that is meant for Shikishima. Godzilla makes it through the initial dive, breaks free, and is forced back up suffering from severe damage from the ensuing barrow trauma caused by decompression. The ships pull Godzilla to the surface with the aid of a fleet of tugboats coordinated by Mizushima, a fellow Minesweeper crew member. Godzilla is furious and ready to use his heat ray to destroy every vessel when Shikishima brings the plane down in front of Godzilla's jaws, destroying its head and allowing the heat ray's energy to rip apart the creature. The crew cheers as Shikishima uses an ejection seat Tachibana put in the Shinden to escape before the explosion and parachute to safety, pleading with him to forgive himself and live on. When Shikishima gets home, Sumiko gives him the telegraph that takes him to a hospital, where he meets up with Noriko, who made it through the devastation but has a black bruise that is starting to grow up her neck. 3. A portion of Godzilla's body is submerged in the water and is starting to regenerate in the meanwhile. 